So I was on the, um, the uh, scientific advisory board at the Max Planck Institute in Dusseldorf when I first heard about ICAMS. And I thought, boy, this is really a very ambitious uh, undertaking and very, very important for the computational material science community because what they're trying to do is something that I didn't feel had really ever been done at this level. This concept of having uh, a critical mass of researchers in material science, theory and simulation, who, who are working at different length scales is, uh, is not so common. Each of the principal uh, professors, there, would be, there wouldn't be BOP, I think, that uh, Professor Droughts has worked on. I think the field of phase field would be far less advanced, uh, which is what Professor Steinbach is working on. And Professor Hartmeyer is one of the leaders in connecting uh, all the way up to, from atomistic to uh, microstructure scales. It is very important that you have this cross-fertilization of different fields of computational material science. It's unique in the sense that it's not an isolated person embedded into the experimental department, but a group of dedicating people working on method development. We're very interested in working with both academic institutions and European companies, and I think uh, we can be very effective as an intermediary between academic work and industrial application, so I'm very interested in exploring that. So I think what's an important contribution to ICAMS is the advanced simulation. Uh, this is something that has been missing is this idea of data-driven discovery, and I think that ICAMS is on the road to, to making some substantial advancements in that area. ICAMS has, for sure in Europe, but very likely in the world, the best comprehensive master program on integrated computational materials engineering, and this is extremely helpful I guess for the students and for industry and for ICME in general. My relationship with uh, ICAMS has been mainly as a collaborator and uh, I visited a few times. I first heard about ICAMS about 10 years ago when I was trying to hire Ingo Steinbach for my institute and I missed. He came over here but we kept the relationship and then since then I have been aware of the excellent work that has been done here. I am cooperating with ICAM scientifically. We have the same interests in modeling and simulation. This is the first time I've been to Bochum and been exposed to ICAMS, and I'm very impressed. I've been on the scientific advisory board for five, six, seven years, and I'm here every year uh, visiting, listening to uh, what's happening in ICAMS. I've had interactions with uh, ICAMS from the start, including exchange of students. A 10th anniversary wish. At least the same success for 20 more years. So I can only wish that it will continue because I think they've been um, more and more driving some really important innovation and, uh, and new directions in the field. The obvious wish is for at least 10 more years of, uh, of support and, uh, and continued success. Happy birthday. <laughs> Certainly continue to be as successful and I'm very encouraged, particularly by some of the things I've seen in uh, uh, improving CALFAD databases. I wish that they will have another 10 years of success. So, so let me wish ICAMS a very happy birthday and many more to come. Happy birthday and go for the 20th. <laughs>